with Hurricane Michael, it's possible that some of you may have missed Grindall's video. Trump's new NAFTA deal is not America first. It furthers the North American Union, the New World Order agenda. I will link below to the video. It is based on an article in the New American. I will link below to the article. New NAFTA, text of U.S.-Mexico-Canada agreement, USMCA, revealed. What is revealed? Well, the USMCA has been widely portrayed as a replacement for NAFTA. Remember one of Trump's promises to either re- uh, negotiate NAFTA or get rid of it. It was destroying America. It didn't put America first. Well, NAFTA apparently now no longer exists. Well, it no longer exists in name only. The name has now been changed to USMCA and it's not only sovereignty diminishing, but it actually strengthens and expands the sovereignty diminishing provisions found in NAFTA. These are all the chapters. NAFTA, the original NAFTA had 22 chapters. USMCA has 34 chapters. And some of the chapters include in the USMCA, which did not exist in NAFTA, chapters on labor, environment, anti-corruption, regulatory policy, competitiveness, and Mexico's exclusive ownership of its gasoline and natural gas resources. These are all of the chapters. And let's see, what, what? Submission to international authority? That sounds like TPP. Oh, Carol, you did a video months ago on Trump. Well, he said originally that he was going to pull us out of the TPP, but then, well, if we could negotiate a better deal for the United States, I would reconsider the TPP, Trans-Pacific Partnership, which is the globalist's wet dream in which they can do whatever the hell they want, not have to worry about any country suing them. Hey, talk about turning over sovereignty. But what is this submission to international authority? Consistent with other globalist schemes, the USMCA follows the rules-based system uh, of compliance to international authorities such as the World Trade Organization, International Labor Organization, a plethora of United Nations conventions including the Law of Sea Treaty and the furtherance of oh wait you ready? Sustainable Development. Oh I hear Agenda 2030. Oh but Trump he got us out of the United Nations really? Where'd you hear that? Because that ain't so. Sustainable development mentioned no less than six times in the environment chapter. Toward a North American Union, the USMCA establishes a new governing international bureaucracy. Chapter 30 of the agreement establishes the creation of Free Trade Commission as a regional governing bureaucracy overseeing various lower regional committees. These are all of the committees. Wow! Committee on Agricultural Trade, Rules of Origin and Origin Procedures, Textile, Apparel Trade Matters, Trade Facilitation Committee, Technical Barriers to Trade Government, Procurement, Transportation Services, Telecommunications, financial services, intellectual property rights, 
Ah, uh, yada, yada, yada. Much like the TPP Commission, the Free Trade Commission can make changes to the USMCA without the consent of Congress. In fact, the agreement completely undermines Congress's constitutional Article I, Section 8 power to regulate trade with foreign nations such as Mexico and Canada and to impose tariffs on them should the need arise, as in the case of national security. Oh, well, goodbye power. Hand over the power to the Free Trade Commission. Hey, doesn't that sound great? Uh, most revealing and unsurprising aspects of this transnational, of these transnational committees, which underscore the value of the USMCA to the deep state is the stated objective of the North American competition, competitiveness, uh, competitiveness, I'm sorry, committee. The committee's objective is not about making the United States, Mexico, and Canada more competitive with each other, but making the three of them as a block more competitive with the rest of the world. The European Union was established not because it would better the individual nations. The European Union was established just like the African Union and other unions around the world because it's easier to combine unions than individual sovereign nations into this one world government, one world economy, one world religion, the new world order. So you get the United States, Mexico, and Canada into a European Union-like union, and it will be easier to then transition into the New World Order. Making the three of them as a block more competitive with the rest of the world, hence its function to promote further economic integration between the three countries. The deep state, oh, Wait, Trump is fighting the deep state, isn't he? Oh, maybe not. Okay, well, ooh, did I say maybe not? Uh-oh, unsubbed. That's it. You just want to kill hope. You're so negative, Carol. Ah, hey. I just, uh, can't turn a blind eye to being deceived again. Because once you've been deceived over and over and over again, you get to see the hallmarks of the deceiver and deception. And it's pretty friggin clear. But you keep supporting Trump, you Trump supporters, and you keep believing that those arrests are just going to turn everything around and we're going to be great again. That's right, we're going to be great again. Oh my God. Well, the deep state does not wish for the United States alone to be competitive with the rest of the world or maintain global economic dominance. Instead, it must surrender its sovereignty, along with that of its neighbors, to a new supranational body that will supposedly protect North American jobs, industry, and economy. Not United States, North American. Mexico, Canada, United States. So rather than putting America first, as President Trump has repeatedly promised, or to make America great again, this new NAFTA, his new NAFTA, the USMCA, demotes the United States to second tier in pursuit of making North America great again. Maybe not again. Forget the again. Uh, the USMCA makes North America great at the expense of the United States and its national sovereignty. Americans have been lied to and duped by their government into believing that their elected leaders are working in their interest only to subordinate America's interests to those of North America. Amazing. Amazing. That, you know... 
we still have supporters uh, in the quote unquote awake community of any government official. But yeah, I'm sorry, you Trump supporters. You're doing exactly what the Obama supporters did for the eight years. I refuse to listen to the truth and I don't want to look at what that guy is doing. I just want to say yay, yay, yay for my team and my leader. And I don't care. Any kind of hope, even if it's false, feels good. Get pissed off at me all you want. But you know what? This blind support, and I will say it's blind support because you will not look at all of, forget about red flags, all of the evidence that Trump is no different than the guy before him. You won't look there. Nope. You're going to tell me that this move with the USMCA is another chess, brilliant chess move by Trump. God, he's brilliant. Yeah. Okay. It's only a matter of time before the same charade is pulled on North America in order to integrate it with the world's other regional trade blocks, the European Union, African Union, Union of South America, Eurasian Economic Union, your CEP, TPP, TTIP, into one world economic union and commission under the auspices of the United States uh, Nations and the World Trade Organization the result of promoting further economic integration among the United States, Mexico, and Canada, necessitating the creation of an all-powerful, unelected, so-called Free Trade Commission will be nothing less than a North American Union, and that alone should motivate patriotic Americans to vehemently reject the new United States-Mexico-Canada agreement, but vehemence is no longer in patriotic Americans. They root for their team and they call themselves patriots. Yeah, the USMCA, a bag of goodies for globalists and a death certificate for American national sovereignty and don't be leaving me comments. Oh my God, Carol, you're this, you're that. Two years of this guy showing you what he's about. And you can't even take a step out of the matrix to look objectively at what's taking place. Well, that only helps to put the nail in our coffin. The link to Grindall's video the link to this article below.